Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I'm gonna take a close look on the Ishin Pro 58 RX Diversity Receiver. This is probably the cheapest diversity receiver for the Fetchuk goggles that has an OLED screen. Inside the package we're only getting the diversity receiver. There is no cover, no instruction manual, just the receiver. But the instruction manual can be found online and I'm gonna put a link to it in the description of the video. There is no port for flashing a custom firmware so you are stuck with this firmware. Probably it's gonna be fine for most of you. Let's see how it compares to my RX 5808, which I've been using for the last six months or so, maybe a little bit more. The design is very similar. You can see that on the bottom of the Relay CC RX 5808, there is this port that enables you to flash the custom firmware, and this one is lacking these ports. So let's connect it to the fetch hook and see all the settings and menus. Now, by the way, the cover of the RX5808 is not compatible with the Pro58 RX receiver, so you will have to either to 3D print it or just leave it the way it is, which I think it's not recommended. After you power on your goggles, the Ishin logo will appear. If you move this dial down, it will switch between eight channels, and if you move it up, it will change between A, B, E, F, and R, which means this diversity receiver supports 40 channels. If you press it, you will enter the menu. You can choose here the frequency, then the channel. You can enter search mode that will find the best signal. By the way, there is a built-in buzzer. So when you click it, you hear a beep and it can be turned on and off in the menu. Here you can set beep on and off. Over here, you can change between RxA, which means only RxA is gonna be used, B, diversity, and that's about it. So it's very, very simple to be operated. You can just leave it on diversity, run search, and it will find the best signal. When you turn it off, it will still remember the last channel that you're on. And look at this, it can also, the channel can be also switched through the fetch chart channel button, which is a feature that the RX 5808 doesn't have. The screen is very clear. Over here we have the frequency, then the channel, and we have A or B, which stands for the antenna that is currently being used. And over here you have an RSSI indicator, which I'm not really even sure that it's working because right now you can see there is a signal, but nothing is connected. The SMA connector is a bit short, you can see it's much shorter than the 5808. But still, the antenna is secured and I don't think you're gonna have any problems because this is too short. Now the big question is how this receiver performs because it costs about $24, so it's almost half the price of the Real ACC and about a quarter of the price of its higher end competitors. So what I'm gonna do, because I have only one Fetcher goggles, I'm gonna use the Real ACC in the goggles and I've just built this adapter that connects on one side to the, this receiver and here it's going to connect to a LiPo battery. I've used this converter and this is the Ishin Pro DVR recorder. So after I connect this to a up to three cells battery and just press this button is going to record the DVR to the SD card and I'm going to try to use the same antennas on the test so I can put it side by side and I'm going to post the side by side comparison video in the next few days so stay tuned. So thank you for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it if you have any questions about this model feel free to ask it in the comment section below and I'll see you soon on my next videos. Goodbye!